Okay, what if I set it to be uh, 100,000? All right, so just recently in my school, we had this um, class where they just taught us about taxes. Okay, they basically just said like, oh yeah, you know, once you become, um, you know, like 18 or 19 or whatever, you have to start paying tax, okay? And the thing is, TurboTax isn't cutting it, okay? Because, bro, I'm not about to pay $140 per return, okay? Or 305 bro. I don't know, bro. Sorry. None of these people look trustworthy to me. And so then I began thinking, right? What if I just do the public a favor and make a tax calculator in Roblox? Like for real, you know, imagine this. Imagine you just made your, you know, 200 grand a year as you do. You know, you, you seem like the type of person to do that. And then instead of having to pay 305 for Linda over here to talk to you about taxes, Oh, actually, like in her old woman voice, instead, you can join my Roblox game and, and do the taxes here. Now, I actually looked up like all of the tax, um, you know, brackets here. And again, this is like for Quebec or something because I'm from Canada, right? So is this exactly precise? Probably not. OK, will will you get a visit from the IRS if you're in, in America? Maybe. So it seems like these are the income brackets and these are their tax rates. So we start at 15 percent. It's actually a lot. Holy 20.5, 26, 29, 33. Are, are y'all seriously paying this much? That is crazy. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is make an actual GUI, okay? Because here's the thing, all right? You can't really, you know, calculate your taxes without having a GUI to do it. Look at this, bro. Tax calculator. That's amazing. See, we're literally rivaling TurboTax right now. What, what does it even have? I don't know. Like, th this, come on. Like, you know, you know what I mean? This looks basically the same. So now we need an actual place for people to input their taxes, okay? Like, for example, right? Um, yeah, I don't even know. It, it doesn't even let me input taxes anywhere. Look at this stupid website, bro. It's just make a text box, okay? Because this is where... Yeah, there we go. See? I can, like... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> there we go. And there we go, yeah. So income here, I can just put, like, one, two, three. And there's our button. Okay, right? So what I'm thinking we do is, you know, whenever, you know, the player inputs their income, right? So imagine they make this much a year. That's, that's a lot, unless you're like in Venezuela or something, right? Then they click on calculate, okay? And then what we're going to do is the moment that the player clicks on calculate, uh, we're going to get, you know, whatever is inside of here. We're going to check if it's a number because, you know, I don't want the player entering hello world. We can't, we can't really calculate <laughs> the tax on that. And then, yeah, all we're going to do is we're just going to check if their income falls, you know, within these ranges, right? And then just apply the appropriate tax rate. And I actually just realized we actually don't have anywhere to actually tell them how much taxes they owe. So I'll just call this name. I'm going to duplicate this and then I'll just, yeah, and then we can just have taxes owed zero. And then when we put like 100 or something, we calculate, then it's going to give us how much taxes are owed or whatever. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a local script, okay? I'll put it inside of the frame and I'll just name this tax script, okay? And then I'm going to say local frame is equal to script dot parents okay so script dot parent being the frame so right now what i want to do is i'm thinking we make a table okay or like a dictionary whatever you want to call it which will have all of these values and we're going to make these values equal to their appropriate tax rate all right so there's our amazing tax table okay <laughs> we have all of the i think i got them right yeah so in this income is equal to this tax rate this income is equal to this, this tax rate, this one, this one, this one. And I just realized I got something wrong. So for the first one, it says 15%, right? And so I did 1.15, right? Because that's how you convert something from a percentage to a decimal. But then the issue is I forgot to do the same conversion for all of the rest. So right now it's 1.15 as it should. But then instead of being 20.5, this should be 1.205. And then this should, should be 1.26, 1.29, 1.33 there we go and like okay look you don't have to do this but i'm just gonna teach you real quick about how you would use a module script for this okay in, in case you don't know a module script is just like a script which is like a table and then you could put things inside of that table and then from any script that has access to this module script you can get this table so let me show you what i mean right take this tax table right now right and if i were to say module dot um yeah, i'll just remove the local so we can do module dot tax table is equal to this right so now what we're doing here is we're basically putting the table inside of this module script right which i can just call tax module require which is how you get a module script and then you just say script um wait for child uh, tax module and then once you require a module script you can use whatever is inside of its table so here what i did is i made a table called tax table and i put it inside of the module right so we could just say tax module 
dot tax table, right? Which will return this table. Now, to be honest, in our scenario, it's a lot better to just make a table on the script because all we're doing is we're just using the table on this script only, right? But like, if I had other scripts, which, you know, needed to use this exact table, then the smart way to do it would just be to, you know, make this table inside of a module script uh, so that you don't have to keep on writing it in every other script. You can just have it in one spot and then whenever a script needs it, you can just, you know, use require, get the module script, blah, 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 all that jazz, right? But then, yeah, this is a lot more efficient in our scenario. And so what I'm thinking we do, right, is whenever the calculator button gets pressed, and we can check that by saying activated, and then we'll connect that. So whenever the calculate button has been pressed, what I want to do is I want to take whatever is inside of, you know, our tax box and then convert that into a number, right? Because by default, even if I were to like put a number inside of this, this is still text, right? So this isn't a number. And in case you are a little confused by that, this is text, right? And this is a number, right? So we want the number, but the issue is the box will return this, which is a text. Well, it's actually very simple, and you can say local income, right, is equal to to number, like so. And then we need the text, which is going to be tax box, or no, not tax table, tax box dot text, like so. Okay, but what if this isn't a number? What if someone does write hello world, right? What do we do then? Well, the good thing about Roblox is that it actually considers that. Because how to number works is that it expects that this text will only have numbers, right? But if it doesn't only have numbers, then this will return nil, okay? Meaning nothing. So what we could do right now is we could just say if income is equal to nil. We could also do something called uh, if not income, right? But that's a little harder to understand. So we could just say if income is equal to nil, then return end. Meaning just stop the code, right? So if we press the button and then we check the income, and then the income is equal to nil, then we're just gonna stop this connection. So the first thing I'll do is I'll make a variable called tax rate, okay? And then I'll set it to one. And so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through the table, right? And then we're, you know, we're gonna do a bit of complex math. And then once we actually, you know, find our correct tax rate, we're just gonna set this variable to be equal to that correct tax rate, you know, whatever it is, because we don't know it yet. And to loop through something, all you do is you just say for i comma v in, you know, tax table, do. Now, in this case, i is equal to the index, which is whatever's in the brackets, right? So i is actually income. So we could actually say right now, income, right? Or no, wait, we can't say income because this is already a variable. So we could say table income. And then v is equal to whatever table income is equal to. So for example, if our table income is, you know, this number, then v is going to be equal to whatever this is equal to, which is 1.15, right? So this is going to be table rate. And so what I want to check right now is if income is less than the table income. Because for example, if our income is 10,000, okay, then we want the tax rate of 1.15 to be applied to it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to say if the income is less than, you know, whatever income we have, then we probably want to set the tax rate to the current table rate. However, the issue here is that the tables aren't ordered. So for example, right, let's say we loop through the table and first we loop through this number. Is 10k less than this? Yes. So then tax rate is going to be equal to 1.26. Okay, then let's say we're going to loop through this, which is perfect. That's what we want. Is 10k less than this? Yes. So we're now at our desired amount of 1.15. But the issue is, then what if we loop through the highest number? Is 10k less than this? Yes. So then the tax rate is now going to be 1.33 when it's not supposed to. So basically all we're going to do is we're just going to say table rate, okay, table rate is less than the current tax rate, right? Which I'm, I'm now just realizing is one. We probably should have made that two because all of them are bigger than one, right? So none of them would be smaller than one. But now that it's two, all of them will be smaller. So the very first one, the very first tax bracket, so let's say, well, let's say we get to here, right? Is this less than two? Yes, okay, so now tax rate will be equal to 1.26, right? Then if we happen to loop through, you know, this again, 1.15, is 1.15 less than, you know, the new value of 1.26? Yes, so now tax rate will be equal to 1.15. And then if we loop through this, is 1.33 less than 1.15? No, it's not. So we're not going to do anything, right? So so only if the table rate is less than the tax rate, then we're going to say tax rate is equal to table rate. Does any of this make any sense? 
hopefully yeah okay and actually a quick change that i'll just make because i just realized that we are trying to calculate just the taxes right not the income and taxes so i'll actually replace all of these ones with zeros right because if we want to get the taxes we just need to multiply by these numbers right and then i'll just replace this two with a one as it was before and so now all we do is we just say um taxes owed right which is you know the thing that showcases how much taxes we owe dot text is going to be equal to and then what does it say let's see taxes owed okay so taxes owed like so and then we're going to give it a number okay so the number is going to be the income times the tax rate so we can just say income times tax rate let's see yes okay what if i set it to be uh 100,000? the taxes are different yes what if, what if it's a uh, 300 grand oh that's not good okay so the tax rate clearly has to be one for this to happen okay you know what i just realized what's going on okay so the issue here is that you know we're saying the income and we're checking if it's less than something so we're only going to be doing this change we're only changing the tax rate if the income is less than all of these numbers but if the income is more than all of these numbers it doesn't do any changes to the tax rate so really all i'm gonna do is i'll just say if tax rate is equal to one then uh tax rate is going to be equal to 0 0.33 okay th this isn't like the best solution but for now it's gonna work we do our yeah 30 grand beautiful okay there we go so 2000 okay well probably wouldn't see that on a real tax calculator but you know what you know what this is fine 1.5 dollars right that's um what if i do negative two it works with negatives i don't <laughs> it probably shouldn't do that but you know what i'm keeping that okay i don't know maybe you use negative values maybe you're in fucking venezuela or something i don't know but there we go so if you want to calculate your taxes i'll leave a link to this game in the pinned comment which is also where my uh course is <clears throat> so you know if you're a beginner developer <clears throat> you could go and check that out and yeah so as always we are back to basics thank you for watching